Center, it's Kit. I'm, I'm wondering if, what have you heard about Chinese hackers targeting your phone and Trump's phone? Well, I've heard that they did it, which, which sucks. <laughs> and I think it illustrates, frankly, the Chinese aren't trying to hack Kamala Harris and Tim Walz's phone. I, I think, frankly, they'd pro find, probably find some pretty weird stuff if they hacked into Kamala Harris and Tim Walz's phones. But that's just a guess. That's not a factual statement. That's merely one man's opinion, to be clear, Kit. But I, I, I think that what it shows is that the Chinese recognize that Kamala Harris provides weak leadership and Donald Trump provides strong leadership. So they're trying to do everything they can to prevent Trump from getting back in the White House. Hi, Senator. This is Hannah Demise with ABC News. My question for you is, do you have any reaction to the Wall Street Journal report about Elon Musk and Russian President Vladimir Putin being in contact since um, October 2022? And do you have any concerns about the national security aspect of it? Yeah, so I have, I have two responses to it. So first of all, Elon is a friend, and obviously he's a big supporter of the president and of mine. We're, we're grateful for his support, but I'm not a spokesperson, right? So I'm not going to stand up here and try to pretend that I know everything that Elon Musk has ever done. But the, the second thing that occurs to me about this is it's almost like the Democrats are running the exact same playbook from 2016, but with different names and different times.